Well, Scott Budman is always on the cutting edge, always at the big events. NASA may have retired the shuttle program, but another space race is now underway. And of course, the Silicon Valley is playing a starring role. NBC Bay Area's business and tech reporter Scott Budman is live in Mountain View, where some very cool technology is going to be shown off tonight. Hey, Scott. Hey, Jessica. Yeah, we're here at the Space Museum in Mountain View, and it is playing host to what could be the next chapter of our nation's space program. The starring role tonight, a Silicon Valley company called Moon Express, which is combining technology and venture funding to build a lunar lander. And it's got hopes of someday not only going back to the moon, but actually mining the moon for valuable moon rocks and platinum. Eventually, the company wants to be something like a Federal Express for the space program, using local know-how to get there. Well, I think in, in some sense, President Obama has done the right thing. These are not the things the government should have been doing anyway. Government has done the right thing, which is to open up the scientific innovations. And now it's a turn for the private investors in Silicon Valley to really commercialize those efforts. Where else would Silicon Valley go? It's already on the West Coast. The only place to go now is space and the moon. So the moon is, you know, part of a two world system. It's the Earth and the moon. So it's really part of a planetary archipelago. And the moon is a stepping stone towards outer space and the stars. Moon Express admits the cost of one of these missions could be tens of millions of dollars, but says it could quickly make that money back through its mining and transportation business. The company will be showing off some of its technology later this evening, says it hopes to launch within the next two to three years. Reporting live in Mountain View, Scott Budman, NBC Bay Area News. Okay, thank you, Scott. And all that money that was used for the space shuttle program, a lot of that money will now come to the Silicon Valley for new technology like this. So it's a pretty exciting time around here.